this video, I'm going to show you how and what grits to use to remove paint, uh, fill and sand body filler, and to feather edge it to get it ready for prime and block. So Sunmite was kind enough to send me their some sandpaper to try out to show you these steps. And they also sent me their vacuum system. This is pretty cool. You can turn it on to auto and it works through this. Vacuums all your dust, your dust up and keeps a much nicer working environment. Uh, if you're someone that do it yourself at home, you know, keep your garage a lot cleaner. So pretty excited to try this and show you the steps to take. Now their sandpaper is ceramic film. And uh, you know, it's like 3M Cupitron 2. And that just basically means, you know, what this is made out of. Of course, ceramic is going to last longer than a lot of your other products. On the vacuum system, it just takes 110, and then you also have to hook it up for, to compressed air from your compressor to run the VA sander. And this VA sander also has vacuum holes in it, and so does the paper, so all the dust will go through this paper into this hose and into here, which keeps, you know, a lot cleaner working environment. Now, before you start, and I don't know how well you can see this dent here, but before you start, you want to wash it with soap and water, which I've already done, and then you want to go over it with some wax and grease remover. Not only does this clean all the contaminants, the silicones, the waxes, and things like that off, but this is also going to get that, the contaminants off there so it doesn't load your sandpaper. And that's going to allow your sandpaper to last longer, so you use less sandpaper by cleaning the surface and you won't have those problems in the paint booth. So I've got some wax and grease remover. I'm gonna wipe it down. And I've just got an area masked off here, uh, you know, to keep these areas clean and protect them for now. Uh, and this is the area I'm gonna be working on. There are some, a few other little dents in here, but I'm not wanting to confuse you. I'm just wanting to show you one dent the steps to take, how to remove the paint, how to sand the body filler, and how to feather edge and get it ready for prime and block. Now I don't know how well you can see this on video, but the dent's about that big right there. And uh, in the past we used to use a lot of grinders, but this metal's thin and you want to eliminate the amount of, I mean sometimes there is, uh, you may have to use a grinder to remove a, you know, the stud nail or to get that area that you can't get to, but for the most part, use your uh, DA sander and we're going to use 80 grit. And in order to get the body filler, we don't want to apply that on top of the paint. We're going to go two or three inches past that. So right in here is going to be 80 grit. So I'll write 80 right there. So this is the ceramic 80 grit right here. And uh, I know you can find some of these on Amazon. The vacuum system, it's brand new. Uh, they sent me one to try. and. Uh, if, you, if you're interested in that, I'll put the company's uh, information down in the description below and you can call them directly. Uh, some of this, I don't know if the ceramic paper's on Amazon yet, but you can find some of Sunmite's products there. But I'm going to start out with the 80 just to remove this. And uh, if possible, I don't want to make a big area. You know, I want to keep my paint area small, you know, in case I should want to blend within this panel. So to put this on, it uses Velcro and you just set it on there and it sticks and you can take these off and on reuse them but now i'm just going to try to sand and stay within this area right here Now that automatically turns on and off whenever you press the DA, but I want to stop for a second and show you where that dent's at. You know, that's a little harder to get at, so I'm going to tilt this a little bit to get in there. So there's still just a little spot in the center, and I'm just going to take that off and use this by hand to remove that. So now the dent's about in this area, it's just a small ding. And then I've also got this metal out here, so when I apply the body filler, I won't be getting it on the top. And this is already starting to feather edge with the 80, which we're gonna go over that with a different grade here in, in a little bit, a little different grit. So now I'm gonna mix up some body filler and go ahead and put on there. But first I'm gonna blow that off with some compressed air so that I have a nice clean surface to apply the body filler. 
Okay, I've got some body filler mixed up, and this is not going to take much. It's not a very big dent. Um, and I'm going to apply it on here. I'm going to try to stay within this metal area. So I want to put a tight coat first, meaning you want to push down tight, push down hard. And then I'm going to come back with a fill coat, which I allow a little bit more of it to uh, fill the damaged area. So I've got some right there. I'm going to go ahead and get that off. So I'm going to let that dry and then I'm going to use a DA sander with some 80 to kind of stay in this area just to level it a little bit and then I'm going to go over it with some 180 to minimize the 80 grit scratches. Okay, I've allowed that to harden up and I'm going to just get the same piece of 80 grit that I was using and put it back on the sander and what I'm going to do with the 80 grit, I'm just going to barely level this. You don't want to sand too much off, but I'm just going to kind of get some of the highs off and then I'll switch to 180. Again, I don't want to go way out here to my 80 grit. I'm going to keep it right within this repair area. Okay, I left that a little bit high because I'm going to finish that off with some 180 and I'm going to switch papers and then finish sanding it out with that. Before I do though, I'm also going to put some guide coat on there so that I know all the 80 grit scratches have been removed. And you could block in that by hand, but keep in mind, you're going to have some straight line scratches out here. You want to be sure and remove those while we're feather edging and getting this ready for prime. So we'll put some guide coat. And guide coat's just a tool to help you identify highs and lows if there's any 80 grit scratches left. Now you can still save this 80 grit. It's still got some life in it, but I'm gonna take it off. I'm gonna switch it off with this 180. And that's what's nice about this Velcro is you can reuse it very easy. Okay, now I wanna, my 80's all around in here. So I wanna go out just a little bit bigger area for my prime area. Turn that down a little bit. Okay, so I've got all the guide coat off and uh, I've layered this, feather edged it. What that means is each layer of paint, you can see the layers. Uh, you want at least an eight to a quarter of an inch of each layer so you can see the different layers here. That way you won't see that when you paint it. I'm gonna do one more step because we're probably gonna prime uh, a little bit bigger area. You don't want any of your primer getting on unsanded paint. So we're gonna sand that with some 320. So again, don't throw this sandpaper away. Very reusable. Uh, take it off, save it, and now I'm gonna to switch to 320 and go just a little bit bigger here. Okay, now you can see this whole area right here has 320, so we're safe if we get uh, primer anywhere in this area. So when we get it to the booth, clean it off, get it in the booth, you know, we can mask that area where we don't get any primer over sand paint, sanded paint. So uh, 80 grit for you to, to remove paint and to start sanding your body filler just to level it. 180 to finish that up and get it ready for prime and do your feather edge and then 320 anywhere prime, primer is gonna be applied. So the next step is uh, clean it. Um, wax and grease remover, mask it off, you know, get it in the booth, mask it off, prime this area with the recommended amount of coats, and then we can block sand that, and then it'll be ready for paint. So that is the steps it takes to remove the paint, apply body filler, sand your body filler, feather edge, and get ready for prime and block. And once you're done with that, 
it's ready to pay. If you like this video, be sure and give us a thumbs up, give us a like. Uh, if you haven't subscribed, be sure and do so. Thanks for watching, take care, and we'll see you in the next video.